Hello, in this tutorial I want to teach you how to zoom infinitely. It is very easy to make, so stay with me until the end of the video. To start we need a vector design, which as usual we can download it for free from the FreePig website. I search Cartoon Pig and downloaded this vector design. After download, import it into the illustrator and delete the extra designs and the background and save it somewhere with Ctrl S. Then open the file storage location and drag this AI format file into the After Effects and drop it in the project window. Select composition and layer size and click OK. Double click on the composition. You can see that the file imported into the After Effects. It has one layer and no background and we have to create a background for it. First of all, enable the continuously rasterize option because I want to zoom in on the image so its quality will not decrease. Hit S and create a keyframe for scale. Suppose you want to zoom on this image in 3 seconds. I take CTI to second 3 and before zooming we must place the anchor point exactly where it's supposed to be zoomed. I want to zoom in in the middle of the pig's nose. So I hit Y and move the anchor point and place it exactly in the middle of the nose. Now I increase the scale and zoom in on the nose. Play the animation once. When zooming, the speed is high at the beginning and gradually decreases. Hit N to limit the work area. I will play the animation once more. Choose these two keyframes to adjust the zooming speed. Right click on one of them and select the exponential scale option from the keyframe assistant. If I play the animation again, you will see that the zoom operation became normal and what we wanted was created. Now we need to create a background for the image. We can use a Sully. Select this eyedropper and select the nose color as the background color because it is going to zoom on the nose. Change its name to background and click OK. I put this under the pig layer. Now for the zoom operation, I will duplicate this layer. Press S and click on the stopwatch of the scale in the first frame to delete the keyframes. Move the CTI to the last frame. Zoom in on the timeline a bit to see the keyframes better. And in this way, I parent this layer to the bottom layer. If you pay attention to the scale number, you will see that the scale automatically changed to 2.8. If I play the animation from the beginning, you will see that we were able to make such a zoom. If you look carefully, you will see a small lag here. In order to fix this lag, I will duplicate this layer again and set its parent to none. I will take the CTI a little further, for example here, and parent this layer to the second layer. Now if I play the animation, this lag is gone. In order to be able to continue this movement along the timeline, we need to put these layers in a pre-composition. Select these layers and press Ctrl Shift C. Click OK. Open the pre-composition. As the work area is limited, right click on this part and select Trim Comp to work area. Return to the main composition. Right click on this layer and select Enable Time Remapping from the Time section or press Ctrl Alt T. Move CTI to last frame. Press Ctrl left to go back one frame and create a keyframe. And I delete the last keyframe. We must use an expression. Hold Alt and click on this stopwatch to open the expression section. And I type the loop out expression and select it. 
Press Enter twice on the numpad. Now if I zoom out on the timeline and make this work area bigger and play the animation, you will see that we will have this infinite zoom as far as the timeline goes. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.